everyone! We're back again for another topic. Are you ready for another learning session? Now let's get started! Welcome to class! I hope everyone's doing great! Before moving on to our discussion, let's take a look at the picture. Have you ever seen a shooting star in the night sky? Can you describe what you saw? That's right! It appears as an object with a tail. It travels quickly and appears to fall on the ground. A shooting star is another name for a meteor, but a meteor is not a star. Let's find out why as we continue. Today's lesson, we will learn the difference of meteor from meteoroid and meteorite. At the end of this lesson, students are expected to characterize meteor from meteoroid and meteorite, compare and contrast meteor from meteoroid and meteorite, and describe the changes that happen to fragment when it enters Earth's atmosphere. Let's begin by answering the question, what is a meteor? Meteors typically occur in the mesosphere at an altitude between 76 km to 100 km or 46 to 62 miles. The root word meteor comes from the Greek meteoros, meaning suspended in the air. Meteor is a light phenomenon or a streak of light that occurs when a meteoroid burns up as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. The visible light produced by the meteor may take on various hues depending on the chemical composition of the meteoroid and the speed of its movement through the atmosphere. As the layer of the meteoroid abrades and ionizes, the color of the light emitted may change according to the layering of minerals. Possible color and element producing them may include orange for sodium, yellow for iron, red for silicate, blue or green for copper, and purple for potassium. Now moving on, what is a meteoroid? Where do you think they come from? A meteoroid is a broken up rock and dust from either a comet, asteroid, moon, or from Mars. It is a small rocky or metallic body in outer space. They are significantly smaller than asteroids and range in size from small grains to 1 meter wide objects. What causes a meteor? When a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere, the air in front of the meteoroid heats up, causing materials to burn up. As we continue, what is a meteorite? And what makes a meteorite? When a fragment from meteoroid survives and make it to the ground, this space rock fragment is now called a meteorite. Now 
Now let's reflect on what you have learned from our discussion. What happens as a fragment from an asteroid or a comet enters the atmosphere? Can you differentiate meteoroid from meteor and meteorite? Let's analyze the given picture. Meteor is a streak of light that occurs when meteoroid burns up as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. As you notice, a meteoroid from the space enters the Earth's atmosphere. The air in front of the meteoroid will heat up which will cause the burn up. Then, when its fragments survive and make it to the ground, it will become meteorite. Before we end our lesson, let's answer this activity. Place me where I belong. Show where a meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite are more likely to be found. Use the following symbols. Green triangle for meteor, blue rectangle for meteoroid, and purple oval for meteorite. For activity A, all you have to do here is to place the right symbol to the place where it belongs. For activity B, differentiate meteoroid from meteor and meteorite. Write your answer in each column. Thank you for participating in this very important discussion about meteor, meteoroid, and meteorite. If you haven't been subscribed to this channel, click subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updated for more video lessons. See you in our next class!